Mitchum here from Drunero, and in this video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get an instant airspace authorization using the new FAA's land system via Skyward right now. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into Skyward. You're just going to go to uh, skyward.io and then you come up here and I'll have a link to that in the description below. You click on get started, then you create your account. It is free. So that's all you have to do is create your free account and then you get logged into the system. Now, when you first get logged into the system, you're going to see a dashboard exactly like this. And the number one thing that you got to do before you start trying to put in airspace authorizations through Lance is you want to come over here, see where it says Sky Ninja right there under my beautiful picture. Um, you want to hit this pencil and you want to wait for this to load, come in here and you want to change your phone number. So you see right here where my phone number is 555-555-5555. You want to change that to your actual phone number. So, and you can change all this other, other information in there as well, but you have to have a phone number in the system um, in order to use Lance. So just want to make that note. So now that you have your phone number in here, you want to come in here to map, click on map, and then you want to go find where it is that you want to fly. So right now, as of the recording of this video, it is May 1st, uh, 2018. The Southwest just went live yesterday. So we're going to pick a place in the Southwest. And personally, if you come up here to map layer, I like to look at it on the street view. So you can click here. Fat physical is what you just saw. Street view is gives you a map that looks like this. And then there's hybrid. But I like street view personally. So I like to go on the street view and then find where it is that I'm going. You can also use this. You can search for a location on a map as well. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and come down. We're going to get an authorization for not San Antonio. Um, we're going to get an authorization for Houston. I can find it on the map. Over here there we go and so if we come over here when you scroll into the map here you see all the different grid maps that the FAA has put into their system I mean that Skyward has put into their system excuse me from the FAA so you can see that over here in Humble there's flight restrictions you can see the giant shape for IAH which is one of the airports in Houston and all of that so if I want to do a flight and let's say I want to do a flight over here all I have to do is click draw flight area right here. So come over here to draw flight area, click this, and then I can either draw a circle, I can do it freehand, I can draw a rectangle, or I can do a dotted polygon. So if I click a dotted polygon, I just go like this, and then that's my map, and that's all I have to do. And then I can name this area, area 51, let's say, okay, and we'll save it. And then that's it. Or if I want to do a circle area, I could do that too. Um, I could do a circle area just like that. Also call this area 51. No. Call this area 2 and hit save. So it's pretty simple. Again, you can draw it however you want. Um, and then you can also hit this button and it'll go to your current location. But Lance is not where I am, so that doesn't serve me at this time. So if you come over here to flight area, It'll show you all the different areas that you've drawn in the past. You can see I have a couple for Albuquerque, a couple for New Orleans, and then the two areas I just drew, Area 51 and Area 2. So let's say I want to do an airspace authorization for Area 51, which is this weird shape I put right there. All I want to do is hit this plus symbol right here, and then I want to click on plan. So I'm going to click on plan right there, and then I'm going to put a date. So Here's the thing with the date and time stuff. You cannot, right now my clock says it's 5, 16 p.m. Um, if I try to do this airspace authorization for 5, 16, for 5, 17, let's say, it's gonna tell me that my flight's in the past and it's not gonna let me do it. So, and a, other another note with this too is that, see it says negative hours. Um, but another note with this too is that you can't have a flight that is longer than 12 hours. So, let's say, 45 5 517 to 545 okay and my crew is myself blah 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 so now okay aircraft sample aircraft cool um in order to fly lance request start time cannot be in the past and that's what it says so now it's 517 
and let's see if we can get one for 520. And so in order to fly here, Okay, in order to fly here, you must first obtain authorization from the FAA, request authorization, and you can see the square where I'm requesting. If you zoom out, um, it kind of shows you the area a little more. And so max altitude is 300 feet, so it's going to tell you the max altitude right there. And I'm going to hit request authorization. And it says save fail, oh, because I didn't give the operation a name. So this is something I do all the time. You want to give this operation a name, so we'll just call it op. Op number one, call it that. Okay, now we'll come down here, click request authorization, and it says Lance start time cannot be in the past, even though I have it set for 520 and my clock says 518. So you wanna give yourself a few minutes, like four to five minutes before you put in the mission here. But now we're gonna request the authorization, and then it says operation safe safely, then it says notification of intended use as a condition of this operation, I agree to comply. Yes, I agree. You just click I agree with these conditions, click agree. And then you wait for it to do its magic. And now you have a notice of authorization today, Tuesday, May 1st. There's my contact information. I'm going to blur out my real phone number. And <laughs> it has a start time and has an ending time, has the airport, all that's all the rules you have to go by and all that information. So what I would do here is I would print this out if I'm gonna use this on an actual mission, but I'm not actually gonna use this for anything, so I'm gonna close. And if you wanna cancel your authorization, like say you put it in the wrong place or you're not gonna use it like I am, I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. Just a couple of notes about the Lance system. Um, number one, it is it can only be for missions that last 12 hours or less at a time. Number two, if you have missions in multiple places, can always come back over here. So I just went back up here to map and then to flight area. So if I click on map and then I click over here to flight area, you might end up on airspace first. But if you click over here to flight area, you can see all the areas I've made before. So say I wanna go back to an area again, I can just go over here and click on center and then it'll take me right back to that area. So let's go ahead and do area two. And we'll click that, these checkbox. You can see if you click that checkbox, it shows the map. But let's go ahead and go to area two and we'll go to center and it'll show me the center of area two on the map. And you can see it's between two points, actually three airspace points, a 100, a 200 and a 400 foot uh, ceiling. So let's go ahead and hit plan. And then I'm gonna call this operation two. I'm gonna do it for today, which is May 1st from 19, 1800 to May 1st at 2200, these are all in military time. I'm gonna put myself and my crew and my sample aircraft and all that good stuff. And so when you come down here, there's actually four authorizations that they put in for you because you're in four different airspace areas. So that's just what they do. So now I'm gonna hit uh, request authorization. You're gonna follow these rules. I agree to these, hit agree. And there you go, notice of authorization, same thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. In fact, as a free gift to you for watching the whole thing, I want to give you free access to a training I have on getting a profitable client for your drone business. If you click the first link in the description below, enter your first name in your email, I'll send it right over to you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss all the new videos I put out helping you to start, run, and grow your drone business every single week. Fly safe.